Yo, what's up guys, it's x and welcome to the top 10 reasons that you guys should be excited for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now I'm gonna give you my top five, my personal five, and then I'm also gonna give you guys five more that were given to me by the community on Twitter, by my followers using the hashtag OG's Top 10. Now if you guys wanna be in the next episode, then make sure to follow me on Twitter, a link is in the description, and make sure to be interactive whenever I tweet out for this OG's Top 10. Anyways, on screen you guys are now going to see some comments from the last episode where people told me what they thought was the most annoying weapon in Call of Duty history. If you guys want to be in the beginning of the next episode, make sure to leave it a comment down below. What are you excited for in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? And you might make it into the next top 10. But anyways, with that being said, let's jump straight into our number 10 spot, which is going to be the EXO abilities. I'm really excited for these guys. We found out that you only get to use them once per life, so one battery per life, so you're not going to have a shield that regenerates over time again. Uh, the shield, being able to cloak, well, there's a lot of really awesome new abilities that you're going to be able to use, and I'm honestly excited to try them out and see how they work. Anyway, that was our number 10 spot. Let's move on now to our number 9 spot, which is going to be the supply drops. I'm really excited for this. You can get really cool exo suit. You can get varied weapons. There's even talk of a personal skin you can put on weapons. So say you have an SMG with a Tommy gun skin on it. It would be absolutely amazing if they did stuff like that. And I just love the idea of supply drops being their loot that you can get from playing the multiplayer and having more things to customize and have more variation for weapons. So I thought it was really cool. I'm really excited for the supply drops and you guys should be too. This is going to offer more variety of weapons and customization. Anyways, with that said, let's move on now to our number 8 spot, which is going to be the upgradable score streaks and just score streaks in general. When I found out it was going to have score streaks, I absolutely flipped, and I think it makes the game a lot faster paced when you're doing that, as opposed to camping in a room somewhere trying to get your kill streak. You can go around, capture flags, help out teammates, get a UAV, you get more points for that, and I think that overall it's a great way to incentivize people to try and be an objective player. Anyways guys, with that said, let's move on now to our number 7 spot. I couldn't find any picture on it, but I'm really excited for the fact that War Mode is going to be coming back to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. For people that don't know, War was basically a gigantic variation of domination where there were 5 flags on the map and you had to try to dominate as many as you could. You got points for killing people. It's coming back in Advanced Warfare along with a plethora of other Black Ops 2 game modes and I am really excited to get my hands on that and play it again, especially with these new mobilities and moves that you can do. Anyways guys, moving now to the number 6 spot, I'm going to have to go with the fact that there's going to be a playlist where you don't have to have the EXO abilities, the EXO uh, movements if you will. There's going to be no double jumping, no boosting, no sliding. It's going to be a traditional, casual way of playing Call of Duty. And I'm really excited that they're putting this in because a lot of people were you know, a little bit upset with all the jumping and moving and stuff. And that playlist is going to be there for all of us who want to play a little bit more casual and traditional Call of Duty. But anyways guys, that was the top 5 that I had. Let's move on now to the top 5 that you guys gave me on Twitter. Starting off with our number 5 spot is going to be the Goliath. Just the kill streaks, the score streaks. The Goliath is going to be a gigantic suit you get into with a mini gun turret. You're going to be a little bit slow, but you're going to be completely dominating people and feeling like a Terminator badass. So I'm honestly really excited for that as well. I can't wait to see what other score streaks are going to be in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm excited, so we'll see what happens closer to launch, but that was the number 5 spot. With that said, let's move on now to our number four spot which is going to be the single player campaign we all know kevin space is going to be a part of this and i feel like the campaign is going to be the best one yet kevin space either advancing everything the techniques that they do for making these games and honestly i can't wait to play i love kevin spacey house of cards one of my favorite series of all time and if he is involved in this then it has to be good but anyways that was our number four spot to move on now to our number three spot which is going to be the exo suit, the exo movements. A lot of us, you know, we've grown tired with all the traditional boring crap that we see all the time uh, in Call of Duty. And finally, we're going to have a new experience. We're going to have the exo suits jumping around, walking around, you know, sliding around, using your different abilities. And I think the exo suits is going to add a whole new dimension to Call of Duty. And if you guys are tired of the same Call of Duty, you're going to have a new experience in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So you should be excited for that. But anyways, now let's move on now to our number two spot, which is going to be the fact that it's not Treyarch, it's not Infinity Ward, it's a completely new development company that's working on this. We're going to get new ideas, fresh starts, and we're going to get a company I feel 
it's going to listen to us most because they're new and they're trying to make you know a good reputation for them and having a new one is going to essentially give us more power in terms of what we want and what we don't want in the game so i'm really excited i'm glad anyways that was our number two spot our number one spot is going to go to the co-op mode and the reason i'm really excited for this is because we don't know what it can be it can be zombies it can be cyborgs it can be normal waves of enemies and i honestly am excited to see what they do they got raven software working with them they're the ones who help co-make or make the cyborg zombies in call of duty online so they have experience with this and i'm honestly really excited to see what they come up with if they put that experience that they've had before we're going to get a really insane co-op mode that can rival if not top the multiplayer and single player and maybe even be just as good if not better than zombies which i don't know if it's possible but we'll see what happens i'm really excited for that but anyways guys that was our top 10 reasons to be excited for call of duty advanced warfare if you have your reason that you're excited make sure to leave it as a comment down below and you might be featured in the beginning of the next episode but anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it make sure to slap a like and a favorite on the video guys it does get the video out there it helps my channel grow and lets me know that you guys are enjoying this content and also if you guys are new and you enjoy these kinds of videos then make sure to check out my channel a link is in the description below and subscribe so you guys won't miss a video in the future but anyways guys until next time i'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you're new and make sure i'm out peace